So it's no secret that since release, Artifact has been struggling with its player base. So as of recording, Artifact is currently the number 53 top game on Steam charts. More people are playing Wallpaper Engine in a game called Space Wars than they are playing Artifact. For an even bigger kick in the nuts, Left 4 Dead 2, a game Valve hasn't worked on in over a decade, currently has more players than Artifact does. And its player base has gone down drastically, from 60,000 average to 10,000 average or under. And on December 13th, the game even went under the 5,000 player mark, which is quite depressing. Let's not even mention the game's Twitch numbers, which are a graveyard at best. Now, most new games can expect their player base to fall off, but not this hard. Now, there's a lot of reasons the player base has dropped off so much. I think the number one reason is that there's just nothing to do. You can go for wins in the expert mode, but once you get wins there, it's not that exciting, and there's no leaderboards in that. The constructed meta was pretty boring. There's only a certain number of heroes you can really play, and then the other ones are just trash, so it's not really that exciting. Plus, the top deck in the game, the blue-green swarm deck, is pretty terrible to play against. Now, I still like the game to a degree, but after about 35 hours, I can't say I'm too excited to jump back in until they make some major changes. So the number one feature I really wanted for Artifact was a ranked progression system, and unfortunately this isn't coming this week, that is coming next week. I also don't mind the game's economy, but a lot of people do, and I think the game should go free to play in the future to attract more players. Anyway, the game got its first big post-launch update, and uh, I thought we'd go through it and see if any of these changes will save the game. So first off the bat, two new decks were added to the featured event called ARMS. These are pre-constructed decks where you play against other pre-constructed decks. They've also added leaderboards to this mode to give you a reason to play it. And they've added a random mode to it, which just means you pick a random deck every time, which is kind of fun. Although some of the decks are way worse than others, so I don't know. Next up, they've expanded the open tournaments, making them automated so you can join a tournament with a click of a button. They've also added two new modes here. The first is where you can only use common cards to build your decks, and the second is a free-for-all where you try to get the most wins in three hours, which sounds pretty grueling. Anyone who's played Artifact for a period of time can tell you that the game is quite lonely, and uh, to remedy this, they've added a chat wheel. Years of getting flamed in pretty much every other game has prepared me for the moment I can now get flamed in card games. Feels good, man. However, it's a good addition overall. This'll come in handy. Oh, you should feel. I don't need a knife to kill you. Kill me if you can! In addition, there's another new mode where you face bots. In this mode, you can select your difficulty and play against 24 bot decks. Each win you get increases the difficulty. Finally, for those people who are colorblind, there's support for you. In addition to all of the above, they've also made the easy bots even easier and, of course, fixed bugs. Finally, in the last paragraph, they assure us and saying that this is the first major update of many for Artifact, and there will be another one next week. I still think the game has to go free to play, but if any of you played CSGO in 2013, this isn't the first rodeo for Valve where they've had a game nobody really liked and then slowly fixed it over the years, so I'm assuming Artifact can definitely redeem itself as well. However, it will be a slow and steady climb, and I would not recommend you purchase the game at this point. I would say wait six months to a year, and in that time, the game will probably improve tenfold and it will be a perfect time to jump in. So yeah, as I said before, I'm pretty bored of Artifact, and apparently the rest of the player base was too because they've already left. Now, I'll keep following the game's updates, but... I'm not really sure if I'm going to make any more videos on it. Probably not.